what's being called the Fort Carroll Temporary Alternate Channel, located southwest of an already functioning temporary channel, will open Saturday morning. Operations will continue through Sunday. It's an effort to allow commercially essential ships to access the vital Port of Baltimore. Maryland Governor Westmore says opening the main channel remains a top priority, along with rebuilding the key bridge. I also want to emphasize that we have now successfully removed around 1,300 tons of steel from the water. Just as a reminder, what we have here when we're talking about the enormity of the ship, every single one of these containers, when they are empty, they are about one and a half to two and a half tons. The governor also announced a new program to help hundreds of people who worked at the now crippled port. On supporting those who have been affected by this crisis. This new program will provide $430 in weekly relief to port workers who have lost pay and work hours due to the key bridge collapse. Officials say 1,300 tons of broken, twisted pieces of the key bridge have already been removed from the water. More than 120 containers have been removed from the cargo ship Dolly. The bodies of two of the six road crew members who plunged to their deaths when the bridge collapsed after being hit by the cargo ship have not yet been recovered. Jackie Benson, News 4.